I'm going to be reading Landing at Alice Island by Stuart Crawley from the diary of Anya Bulakov, age 13. August 24th, 1912. I'm not speaking to my parents. This afternoon, we were standing at the railing on the ship's deck, mother and father cheering and pointing out at the island approaching across the waves. They hugged me. I didn't hug back and told me again how our wonderful new home in America was going to be full of opportunities. I didn't speak. I didn't speak English, I reminded them, only Russian, and I wouldn't know any of their customs. I miss my real home. August 25th, 1912. The Ellis Island Great Hall where we waited for five hours to be processed, thundered with strange voices and terrifying faces. Finally, I wedged myself under my mother's arm to escape the distant cries of a child. At last, a stern medical examiner inspected each of us. We were not marked with chalk, thank goodness. That would have been a sign that we were ill and had to be deported. Relieved, we moved onto another line. Then we came to a table where the impatient man, who also spoke Russian, asked us questions after question. He recorded the details in his ledger, and to my great relief, we were done. September 9th. 1912. The city is a bustling and amazing place. We've rented rooms in a building with other Russian immigrants, and my new friend Katya has promised to help me learn English. Father has secured work at a printer's shop, and mother has made my favorite shasli and priorskis dishes for our new neighbors. New York City might just become a home for me after all.